Welcome to Excel Business Math series number 27. Hey, we're in the workbook Business Math chapter 3. If you want to download this, you can go to my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download this workbook. If you're enrolled in the class, just go to our chapter 3 website. Hey, here we're going to solve for base. We've been studying the percent formula, or what it's called, it's called the percent formula, rate times base equals part. We just got done studying how to solve for part, now we want to see how to solve for base. Now, uh, here's our first example. 18.5% of blank circuits is 370 circuits. Now, as we saw earlier studying this formula, this can directly translate into English. Let's see if I can go to the PDFs right here. Here's 18.5%. When you get a decimal, it goes straight to that. Of means multiply. This, well, th that's some unknown amount of circuits. But remember, percent times something equals something when we were studying this earlier. So we got this. This is going to be the base. Is always means equal sign. And then this is the part. Um, so let's see how to do it over here. 18%, uh, we'll just put um, rate here. Or we could say percentage of total, right? And then that's 18.5%. Now, how are we going to enter this if we wanted to format it exactly like that with uh, um, this fractional and mixed number formatting? Remember, uh, we've seen this trick a few times. This is a mixed number. But whatever it is when you see percents, it's whatever that is divided by 100. So watch this. Just as when we learned with mixed numbers, remember, 18 plus 1 and a half. If we put that in parentheses and divide it by 100, we'll get exactly what we want. Now, most of us can do this in our head. We write uh, point, or if, if you know how to do it in your head, you just jump to the chase and put point. 1, 8, 5. But watch this. If you don't know how to jump to that, here's the trick. Equals in parentheses, and we do our mixed number, just like we learned in chapter 1 and 2, plus 1 half. Uh, close parentheses. And as we're learning in this chapter, whatever the percent thing is, you always divide that by 100, and boom, because that's the meaning of a percent. 1 percent means 1 out of 100. So 18 and a half means 18 and a half out of 100. Oh, looks like I pre-formatted that one, too. I'm going to get rid of that and show you how to format it. Control-1 is the keyboard shortcut for format cells. Custom, and I'm going to come down here. Just like we learned in the last chapter, we do a pound sign, a space, then question mark slash question, whoops, question mark slash question mark. And now we see 1 fifth, but as soon as we put a percent, there we have it. 18 and 1 half percent. Click OK. All right, so that's percentage of total. And that is called what? The rate. Uh, next, we have total circuits. And that is a question mark. Boom, boom, boom. So do, do, do. And here, we know this is the base. So here, we'll put a part of total circuits. And here, we know what that is. So we'll put 370. And this is the part. What is our goal? Our goal is to um, solve for base. And what's the formula we're going to use? At this point, if you're doing your homework, you're like, man, I don't remember the formula. Then you go over and you look. The formula will be uh, base, which is what we're solving for, equals our part divided by our associated rate. Now, um, and this we're going to put here just to be consistent with. All right, now we're going to do that same trick here. Since we're solving for total circuits, I'm going to do that formula right there, tab. And now we simply uh, do our division. We have equals the part divided by the rate, and enter. 2,000%. That's not right. What is that? Oh, that's formatting. Control-1. I'm just going to go back to general, just like that. 
All right, so 2,000 is what we started with. Now let's do checks, right? We have always have uh, at least two ways to check when we're solving for one of these. So the first one, we know our base. So we'll do uh, part divided by base equals our rate. And since we have a rate as an original number here, we can check against it. So watch this. Equals whatever our part is. That's our original source number divided by this base, which we just solved for. When we do that, we better get this 18.5%. All right, I'm going to format this. Control-1, custom, and as we saw just a moment ago, pound, space, question mark, slash, question mark, and then percent. Wow, that is like magic. <clears throat> now, check number two. And we uh, solve for rate, so now we're going to solve for part, try and get the uh, um, original source number part. So part equals our base times our rate tab equals, well, we have our base we just solved for times, and we'll check it against um, this number here, and we better get this number. Enter. Oh, again, look at that. What's that? That is formatting. Control-1. Actually, there's a keyboard shortcut for general formatting. It's Control plus Shift plus, and the tilde. you got to find the tilde. It's to the left of the number 1. Why is that? That's one of my most uh, favorite keyboard shortcuts because formatting messes up lots of spreadsheets. And so every day, if you're working with Excel all the time, you have lots of situations where you're like, man, I just want to get back to general and remove all that number formatting. So control shift tilde. It doesn't remove formatting like borders and colors. It just is number format. If you don't believe it after you do it, control one. And sure enough, look at that. All right, now we're going to write our answer in words. Now, um, watch this. I'm just going to come up here and um, F2. And I'm going to scoop this out, because this is, uh, we can literally just use the exact words from up here. I highlighted it, copy, now I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to come down here and hit F2, which puts it in edit mode and paste. Watch this. I'm just going to highlight this little underline here and type in our answer, 2,000. 18.5% of 2,000 circuits is 370 circuits. All right, now let's do our second problem. Again, we're solving for base. Ren Hoke earns a monthly interest rate of a half a percent. If he earns $251 in interest for the month, what was the amount invested for the month? All right, uh, well, it looks like we know the monthly interest rate and that is a half a percent. So I'm going to do a little trick equals 1 divided by 2 divided by 100. Looks like I have it formatted already. We'll leave that one there. All right, I better show you how to format this because all of the templates that you download will not have that formatting. Now, custom, we already know how to do this. We've been doing this, so we're just going to put, uh, you can see the unformatted general number there. And then always highlight in type. And we'll do question mark slash question mark percent. Click OK. All right, the next bit of information, if the interest earn. Oh, OK, so interest earn, and that's going to be 251. I can format this one as I type, 251. And this is the rate, which would make this the part. So the thing we are missing is the base. And we don't know what that is. And the name for the base is uh, original amount invested. All right, and what is our goal? Find original amount invested. And the formula we're going to use is going to be base equals part divided by associated rate, the rate associated with that part. I always keep saying associated because the 1.5% is associated with this part. Later when we do increase, decrease, uh, that idea will help us. 
All right, so let's solve this. And I'm gonna just going to do our little uh, trick right here. Uh, the original amount invested, tab. And now we do our formula, equals the part divided by the associated rate. Wow, $50,200. How'd you like to have that much to invest for a month? That would be great. Um, OK, now we're going to check number one. And that's going to be we have solved for base. So why don't we do a part? Part equals the base divided by the rate. And I'm sorry, base times, whoop, that is not division. That would give us a number, base times, right? So we'll say equals, oh, this is our base times our rate. And I'm betting I'm going to get 251 bucks. Yeah. This is our base. This is our, our part. And uh, right here, we'll do our rate. OK, so check number two. Number two, that will be rate equals part divided by base. And let's do it. Equals, where is our part? There it is, divided by our base. And I got my fingers crossed. Uh, control one. Custom, and I'm going to do that uh, question mark slash question mark percent. We did this so many times in all these videos. You guys are just going to be fluent in all these amazing custom number formats. All right, let's write our answer. If we earn 251 bucks and our, we better write uh, 250. Uh, bucks interest for the month. So if we earn 251 bucks for the month and our monthly rate is one half percent, that means that we invested 50,000, wow, 200 bucks. So there it is. Uh, we could have put a dollar sign there and, and a period instead of bucks, but why not? So uh, that's problem number two for base. When we come back, we'll see how to solve for rate.